Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reverse a video clip using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got one video clip which I downloaded from Pixabay. I'll put that same video link in the YouTube description. Let's open up Premiere Pro and we'll drag and drop that video clip into the media pool. Let's drag and drop that onto the timeline. So this video clip is just of this chef cutting up this potato and I thought it would be quite interesting to reverse this video clip so he's cutting it in reverse order like this way going backwards. So to achieve this all we'll do is click on the video clip, right click on it and go to speed and duration here. When we click on that we can just select the reverse speed here. So it will play basically backwards. You can set the duration here, the actual speed and we're going to set it to twice as fast. We're going to set it to 200% so it'll be twice as fast. This is completely optional. When we click OK, you see the timeline will be reduced because we doubled the speed of the video clip. OK, let's go ahead and click the play button. And now we can watch the video clip playing in reverse. So we can see the potato being uncut, which is quite interesting. So if you want to do something like this, it doesn't have to be this particular clip. It could be anything that you've done um, or any sort of video content that you want to reverse the clip on. Um, you can do that and we've also increased the duration of the speed, we've doubled the speed as well so it's running a little bit quicker so I just thought that would be interesting to do that as well so let's just let that finish, I think this is the most interesting part uh, where the potato gets remade again, it's quite interesting and funny to be fair um, yep, definitely an interesting effect to apply so that's how you go about reversing a video clip using Adobe Premiere Pro I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.